checking out. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're on. Yeah, we're on. Okay. I would say that we shouldn't be using the, sec the uh, Second Amendment as a political issue because that is something that shall not be a bridge. Um, I know what these political uh, candidates are going to try to do, but the real issue is that this is a chemical issue, a Zoloft issue, a Ritalin issue, a psychotic medication issue. Right. These are these happen to be young men that are going through a crisis in their home, and uh, it shouldn't go to the weapon. Those weapons should be left alone. That Second Amendment should never be touched. Right. And that's what these political uh, candidates want to do. Right. And, you know, and it's not it's, it, the Republicans are not doing this. Is the only Democrats are using this, uh, um, this, uh, um, this tragedy that happened at church. They're using this as a political platform, trying to raise gun control awareness. This is ridiculous. We don't. There's, there, there's a time and place for this, and this is not the time and place right now to do this. Well, I don't know how many of your listeners know that Sam. Negative America's Majesty Rebellion is running so that we can save the United States of America from all of these issues that are made into political issues. That's there right. are certain things that should not be touched, and our Second Amendment is one of those. That's why those last few words with the period at the end shall not be infringed. It means that you don't you don't uh, attach it to anything like this. This was a psychotic event. It was a domestic terrorism. Event. Go ahead. It was domestic terrorism. We, that's what I call it. I call it as te domestic terrorism. That's exactly what it is, Mark. It's domestic terrorism. And you've got a young man that's 21 years old. He had just turned 21. Uh, he gets that. Um, 45 caliber as from his dad, no less, from a birthday time. present. What? He got it as a birthday present. You know, he, he's, he, he got the birthday money, he got a gun, is what happened. His dad's a can of, as a, his dad should not be doing that. You know, he's got issues, you know, he had mental problems, and they still didn't treat him. I want to know why they didn't do that. And drugs. Right. He's got a rap sheet. Yeah, he's got a rap sheet. He's been he's been yeah, he's been in and out of prison since fifteen years old. I should tell you something. Hello. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. Exactly. I mean, it's come on. Wake up, America. Come on. Wake up. This is ridiculous. This is outrageous. I mean, it, and you know what and you know what the, all the news media is doing right now? They're using this guy, um, you know, to, to promote evilness. That's what they're doing, believe it or not. But they're stupid, stupid actions. That's not what we need to do here. We need to focus on what the issues are? The issue is the because this because the the domestic terrorism happened. The the we got Bill no you got yeah the Bill Clinton Hillary Clinton you got the Democrats all outraged with the gun control issues. There's a time and place for this, and there's not the time and place for this now. I'm telling you right now, leave that leave the get the family some closure. Be respectful. Do not make this into a political campaign. And that's what they're doing right now. And you know who does that? Socialism does that. Socialism supports terrorism. I said it. There it is. Plain and simple.